Hey guys, what is going on? It's your boy Rob from PantherVision and today I want to show you how to create these really interesting uh, circular vortex kind of lines. Last time I did it with dots, with uh, vortex dots. Today I'm going to show you how to do this with lines. But before we jump in, if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get updated with new videos. So let's see what we can do. First thing, what we're going to do is create a circle. Here you can see the circle, select the ellipse tool from this menu and press shift and then press alt at the same time. So you isolate the circle. It won't get distorted or anything like that by pressing shift plus alt and creating the first circle. Okay. From here, we're going to press control C and then control F. Basically what it did is it created another, um, circle on the circle and we're going to press and hold shift and just scale this part down a little and from here of course again press and hold shift and scale this even a little just like this okay it should be something like that select both of the circle i think on a Actually, it's good like that. I wanted to scale it even more down, but it's good. So select both circles and go to this minus front. If you don't have the pathfinder, then go to windows and select the pathfinder. From here, we're going to cut this down in two parts, basically. So what I usually do is select the rectangle tool, select this part. Uh, with some magnet is gonna click in right in the center with the guide it's like magnetic it, it just like uh, sticks it in there right in the center right in the middle so I select both of these and go to again this minus front tool click it select it press O and then click and hold alt and then press on this path and we're going to select horizontal and we're going to create a copy from here we're going to create another actually no we're going to right click and go to transform uh reflect again uh go to vertical and click ok and now we're going to unite these by pressing this one unite from here we're going to go to a select the a the direct selection tool and we're gonna, what we're gonna do is select these anchor points right here. This one and this path. By also press shift, so you select both of them. If you don't press and hold shift, you just select this one. And if you wanna select this one, this one is going to be deselected. So if you select, I mean, if you press and hold shift, you can select multiple anchor points at the same time. And what we're going to do is press shift, I mean, select this anchor point and then press shift, press and hold shift and select this also. And as you can see, there's like these little dots going on in here and drag it upwards. So it made it curvy. Okay. From here, I'm going to select this and go to effects, distort and transform, transform, go to previews. I'm going to create like 30 something copies. I don't even know. 36 is good. I'm going to scale this down to 92 is cool. 92 should be good. And I'm going to rotate it. You can rotate it left or right. You're going to bring different results. And this is what I'm looking for. And here you can see a new uh, vortex kind of circle which is really interesting and yeah this is kind of it thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and have a great day bye bye